this is my my little thought, right? Because I started to see how, like, like I'm not successful, but I started to see how, like, things are starting that point me in the way of being successful. So I think you gotta have, like, really, like, surround yourself around good energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might have to do a whole clean slate of what the fuck you was used to, and then jump into some new shit that you ain't never experienced in your life. But that's that fear shit. Like, when everybody get over that fear part, then then, then you'll start seeing different shit. You'll start experiencing different people. You'll start realizing that all that show money ain't for show money and all that shit. Like, I be meeting motherfuckers that be having millions, and these motherfuckers will pull up in a fucking punch buggy from that old ass movie, like the punch buggy be rusty and all that shit, but the whole time the nigga got a company making them like two, three million a year. Nigga, I'm walking. And I want a car that costs like six grand. I ain't even got six grand saved up, so I had to start thinking like, wait a minute. This nigga got a company making them two million a year. He pulling this motherfucking ass up in a buggy. Now, if he pulled up around the way, everybody be quick to joke him and judge him. That motherfucker pulled up at a motherfucking meeting. And he walked up in that bitch and everybody praised him like he was Lord because everybody wanted to be surrounded by his energy. They didn't want to give a fuck about how much he had. They wanted to know how did he get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how you, you see a rapper? And they got the gold chains and shit on, and they get showing you the slick-ass cars and this and this and that. Half of the time, it don't even be theirs. The other half of the time, they ain't even tell you they've been putting their album out for nine years. And now this one year, just happened to break an album he made eight years ago because he got around some real people that believed him. So I believe in the energy shit, you know, all the vibes and all that shit. The shit people are afraid of, you know what I'm saying? You ever go somewhere and motherfucker be like, I ain't getting out, man. I ain't know, I ain't know he was a white boy. Like my nigga. You could pull up on your friend that's black and I won't even get out the car because I'd be like, man, he like a motherfucking jack boy. But still, he might be a nice person. So you just got to watch what you surround yourself around because I've been surrounded by so many cruddy motherfuckers I think everybody a cruddy motherfucker but also I give everybody a chance because you can't go judging off the book you know what I'm saying that's that's how people miss their blessings judging oh he ain't got this how that nigga a rapper he ain't got no chain he ain't got no belt that's that bullshit man so keep yourself grounded Build your own foundation. Stay positive. And give out some good energy and vibes. That shit sound corny to me. But I'm telling you now, like, I ain't never been a negative person anyway. Always been a defensive person. I ain't saying I left my guards down to the bullshit because I know everybody going to try still pull bullshit every now and then. But all I'm trying to say is stay focused, stay grounded. And keep yourself well surrounded. This is Jason Lee TV. I'm out of here, man.